we're going to read chapter 13. Right, this is how it goes. 第十三章 从乳落精, 贵大, 何谓从乳落精吾有何患故贵以身为天下若可祭天下爱以身为天下若可托天下<咳> Now, um, this passage right, uh, would mean that uh, if you look at it at it when it's in the courts in the emperor's court right this will be very very obvious what he's saying but of course you know nowadays we don't have emperors and all that but it's still relevant because we do all work you know there's always someone above us there's someone below us right so this passage still is relevant right now let me try to uh, dissect what it's saying. First, the word chong. Chong, chong means favor. Right? Ru means you lost a favor. You are being dis- despised. You are not being, uh, you are not taken, you are taken for granted, in fact. Right? So, chong ru. Ru means, you know, you are very, right down at the bottom right tong means you are high up at the uh, uh, favored by the the person who is in power so in this case it's the emperor right so in the modern case would be your bosses right if you work in a very big firm you have the highest bosses nowadays they call them ceo right chief executive officer executive officer vice president things like that so as a as a member, when you just get out of work, right, all this favor, all this small little thing that the bosses say or the emperor say is going to affect you. Right? So he say when you are being most favored, you also should be in a state of carefulness, right? Because you are so favored that you worried that you lose favor, so you are always alert. You are always in a state of high alertness, or even uh, even uh, stunned whenever you know the person who are in power say something. You know it, it shake you. You know, so that's why he say, "Chong lu luo jing." That means if you are favored, you also should be frightened. If you are not favored. You are at the worst, you know, being despised, you also should be worried and, you know, uh, get alert, right? So that's why he said, 从乳落精, right? Now he said, well, this is only because you have a body. That means you think you are somebody. You think when you're favored, you're at a high position. So, you have a body, you have an integrity, you have the identity to protect. So, and if you are at the bottom, right, it's almost like if you are an end, an elephant pass by may stamp on you, right? So you should be worried because if you are right at the bottom, you know, small little things affects you, right? So you should also should be alert. So he said, why are you not alert? When? In what situation? Now, it comes back to yourself, you see. So, for the Tao, Tao Te Ching, what it proposes is to better yourself. Everything is a very inward-looking thing. So, if you look inward to yourself and you realize that you don't have a body, 
you are nobody. You don't have a body to protect. You don't have a, 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 a certain thing to protect. Right? Then, why do you need to worry? So, if you don't have a body, you don't have an identity, you don't know who you are, you are always empty, then you don't need to worry because you have nothing else to lose if you are empty, right? So, if you think that you are very uh, high up, you are very expensive, that's why the word Kui Sen, Kui Ta. So, if you are thinking that you are somebody, you are thinking that whatever you say affects somebody else also, then you get worried because everything you do, it affects others. Or everything you do affects yourself, right? Whether you still be in favor or not if you say the wrong thing. So if somebody make a comment, you get worried. So now, you won't be worried if you're nobody. So that's what he's saying. Then suddenly it skip to not being yourself, right? But skip to a state where if you think for everybody, right? So the last part actually is also a reminder to the king and the queen and those people who are in power. So it's, it says something like this. If, if you think for other people, the rest of them, accept yourself. Now, in this case, you are selfless. You are nobody, but you think for other people. You don't even care about yourself in that sense, right? So, people can actually depend on you, or the world can depend on you if you are the emperor. So, if the emperor or you love the world, right, and more than your body, so, and if your love is spread to everybody, then everybody can depend on you. And they could actually trust you, right? And put their faith on you, right? Or put their body with you, right? So, this is what this chapter 13 is all about. So, I think at the same time, it illustrates two important points. One point is <coughs> the idea of <coughs> not favoring yourself, not privileging yourself too much, or, or not favoring at all. You know, the extreme is at all. Right? You never think for yourself. Yourself is as good as everybody else. So when you think for everybody, you're also thinking for yourself. That's one point. The other point is the idea of Wu, Wu Wei. So if you don't see your body, that means you're in a state of emptying yourself, that you no longer exist, but other people exist. But the fact that other people exist, you exist. Therefore, that state of Wu Wei becomes the most important part of a person, emperor, a person who is, whose deed, whose whatever he do, is for the other people. At the same time, because he did it for them, is also doing it for you, right? But the main idea is not doing it for you; is you do it for other people first, right? So that's the whole idea of Wu Wei, right? And at the same time, this chapter tell you that when you're being favored or not favored, you have to be alert. You have to wake up to it. Right? So, and then you think through it. And if you are nothing, then you can accomplish everything. I think that's the main gist of this, this chapter. Alright, see you for the next chapter.